Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. 2.05 p.m. Central Standard Time on CBS. The Titans at the Chiefs. They're going up to Arrowhead to Kansas City. Chiefs are a seven and a half point favorite. The total is 52 and a half. Chiefs defensive lineman Chris Jones might be out. That is not a good thing when you're going up against somebody like Derrick Henry. Um, these two teams played in week 10, and the Titans won 35 to 32. It was Mahomes' first game back. He was 36 out of 50 for 446 yards and three touchdowns in that game, and they lost. Now, part of the reason why they lost, Derrick Henry had 23 carries for 188 yards and two touchdowns in that game. So, they will, the Chiefs will allow you to run the football. But the Titans will allow you to throw the football as well. So, what the Titans don't need to have happen in this game, and this is my, my biggest point here, and the only one that I really wrote down for it, you cannot let the Chiefs jump out early. Because if you do that, they are going to bring everybody at Ryan Tannehill. And if they do that, Tannehill has not played great the last couple of weeks. No. They haven't needed him to. That's right. Um, he hasn't made killer mistakes. But if they start bringing pressure, if they find a way to get to him and kind of rattle him and they're down a couple of scores, that's where it could get a little bit hairy. Uh, in that first game, he only threw the ball 19 times. Yep. 12 of those targets were to either Derrick Henry or their tight ends. 12 of 19 passes were to Derrick Henry or the tight ends. I think you're going to need a little bit more than that this go-round. I, I agree. Um, d- how do you see this breaking down? What? Where do you... Man, I, I, I think th- Tannehill is the biggest thing in this game. I'm trying to figure out, do I think that the Titans can win this game or not? I think absolutely they can win it. I mean, they've beaten the Chiefs, what, three straight times? And they don't play them all the time, but they've yeah. won two straight, or they they won their last playoff game at Arrowhead with Marcus Mariota at quarterback. Um, Derrick Henry can run on this team, but if you get down early and you have to go away from the run, then you have problems. They the Titans aren't built to come back uh, from twenty one nothing, from fourteen to nothing, really. So you've got to make sure that you come out and, and hit them in the mouth first. So if the Titans have any shot in this game, they got to take advantage of the line of scrimmage early. Agreed. But the question is, can they do it? Can they? So is, the in, immediate knee-jerk reaction is, is nobody's been able to stop Henry so far in the playoffs. Right. But also, no running back has ever had three games like he's had. So at what point in time is he going to continue to do things that have never been done before, or is he going to have an off game? Well, the other side of this, so we all just assume that Pat Mahomes can't be stopped. I do think that the Titans have a little bit better uh, secondary, a better defense than the Texans did. Oh, yeah. Which is crazy because when you look at the, the Texans' Talent. But they're going to have to be a hell of a lot better than the Texans were. Uh, agreed. But that, but what I'm saying is you got Rashawn Evans, you got Simmons, you got all these guys, and they are playing really, really well right now. They are going to have to continue to play well. Mahomes, who we talked about, you know, people think that he is unstoppable. He had not had a game where he had three touchdowns You're right. before this one. Dating all the way back to the first time they played the Titans, which was week 10. So he had more than a month of games where he was, okay, does he revert back to that in a pressure situation? Or? This know, is the one game I have no feel for whatsoever. That's I, I, I don't see the Chiefs blowing them out in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Because I think even if the Chiefs get up by two scores, the, the Titans can – slug their way back and hold the ball long enough to where they just don't get enough possessions to, you know, to, to just really drum them. Yeah. Um, the biggest problem would be Tannehill making mistakes. Correct. That's the one thing that cannot happen in this game 
You cannot have a Tannehill interception. The, you can't muff a punt. Now the you guy and the guy that you, he's yet to do anything in the playoffs. AJ Brown is the guy that carried them through the regular season because Henry was wasn't the guy in the regular season. In that first, it game, was Brown that got them into this plot spot, this playoff spot. It the the, the thing that sets up Derrick Henry to be able to run, or at least it did from week seven all the way through, was the big playability of Tannehill going to A.J. Brown, going to guys like that. In this spot... You just think defenses are taking him away? I don't know. When they played in Week 10, A.J. Brown had four targets and only caught one pass. I think it was like 12 yards, something like that. Not anything major. But he had four targets out of the 19 and only caught one pass. You're going to have to do more than that. You know, like this is... Tyreek Hill went... Insane. He had what ten catches for yeah. 160 yards. Yeah, 160 yards. Yeah. Um, so I, you, you just you got to make sure that you stay within striking distance in this game. The only thing that could keep the Titans from winning this game is early mistakes. Because if you get down early, then that's basically ball game. If you can keep this within a one score game or even have a lead, and you let Derrick Henry run on them, I. Uh, they can absolutely win this game. I Damn. don't think they are scared of this team whatsoever. No, you're probably right. And so the the Chiefs have a a Tennessee problem of kind of the same way that they have a uh, a Pittsburgh problem, where it doesn't matter how bad the Steelers are, the Steelers always find a way to beat the Chiefs. It, it's kind of turned into that with the with the Titans for whatever reason. I, I think this is the the kind of team or the one team that the Chiefs did not want to see in the AFC title game, which I know is crazy. It's a six seed. Tennessee has really has no business being here, right? And yet... They beat the Patriots. They beat the Ravens. Yeah. If they beat the Chiefs, they've beaten the three best teams in football. But they, they've beaten all four division winners in the AFC yeah. in the last four games because they beat the... And I understand the Texans were sitting everybody. I get that, but... A win's a win, and they won at Houston, at New England, at Baltimore, and then they would win at Kansas City. So is it out of the realm of possibility? Absolutely not. Uh, I'm going to roll Titans plus 7.5 because I think it'll be a, a tight game. Would it surprise me if the Chiefs come out and beat them by two touchdowns, three touchdowns? It wouldn't surprise me. I don't think anything in this game would surprise me. Yeah, this is the one that I just – I. My official pick is Titans plus seven and a half. Uh, I ain't going money line either direction. I, I think I think this will stay a touchdown game. And I'm you went four zero last week. Yeah, I did pretty well last week. Um, I went three and one. I I don't like having to put all of my trust into Ryan Tannehill playing the best he's ever played in his life, and yet the last two weeks has thrown for less than 100 yards. They have not needed him whatsoever, really. And, like, obviously he's, he had to make some big throws at the end of the New England game, but that was to run clock. That wasn't to score. You're going to have to score here. So yeah, no he, matter how great they played against New England, they still only scored 14 points. Yeah. And, and against – he wasn't the main factor – no. Against the Ravens. No. Uh, the Ravens gave them short fields multiple times. Derrick Henry threw a touchdown pass. Uh, you know, like, they, they did good stuff. But, you know, <laughs> I don't know what he's got. Oh, he's got my bottle. Oh, is that yours? That's, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> Sorry about that. My dog is destroying things. It's all good. Now, bring your ass. <laughs> all right, so you got to give a pick. You got to give a pick. I'm I'm gonna. I think I think we're going with you. Going Titans plus seven and a half. I think I am. I think. I think that's wrong. This I think I'm okay with that. I this feels like. I felt like before the playoffs started. I I my I mean I already have a a, par, a parlay on the the Forty uh, ers winning the AFC and the um, Chiefs winning the NFC. Yeah. So and that being the Super Bowl matchup, it I wouldn't like, it wouldn't surprise me if if the Titans win. 
It, it wouldn't, like I said, there's nothing that would surprise me. I, it wouldn't surprise me if this comes down to a field goal. I hate this it is the early me. game because if I get the 49er win, I would probably play the Titans money line. As, a, then as I, a hedge. Because then I could hedge. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is really strange. It it's weird. It's uh, I mean, you, you've got a six seed that has already beaten the now, one seed. If and the, the Chiefs, three seed. if the Chiefs beat them, get up early and get up often and beat them. Yeah, I can get Patrick Mahomes for four touchdowns at plus three seventy six. Whew. three touchdowns is only plus one ten. Still not laying juice, but still. No, I mean you you still. Getting more than even odds back, but three seventy six. I know he hadn't had a four touchdown game. I get that, but it's the playoffs. It's different. Yeah, it's definitely that. It's different. That's that's the that's the. It's almost like I could all I could kind of play a couple of different bets, and then the whole wash. Yeah, you know, I could take the Titans, and I could take this because if they're going to cover the seven and a half, they're going to do it with him throwing the football. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, that's that's the way I feel. Yeah. I don't think there's any way I win both those games. I don't think he gets four touchdowns and they don't cover, though. No, I don't think so. That's not If happening. he gets four touchdowns, they're then covering. That's all they're covering. Yeah, yeah. I think they're covering. But seven and a half, like that, ha- I like the hook there. I like the hook. Um, but I will say this typically, like, at least it feels like this. I don't have any numbers to back it up. I feel like whenever I bet seven and a halves, the the favorite typically covers that seven and a half. When I when I bet the opposite direction, when I bet the dog, but I mean this go round like I, it was Titans nine and a half last week, and I I liked the Titans in that game. Um, this is a little bit different circumstance, but I mean the Titans have shown that they can beat these guys. Yeah, they have. They really, really have. And their game plan is spot on. Hold the football. Run the football. Don't make the mistake and don't let them have the ball. Yeah. Don't yeah. let Brady have the ball. Don't let Lamar have you know how Brady can't beat you if he's sitting on the sidelines. You know how Lamar can't beat you if he's sitting on the sidelines. Yeah. Now the defenses did amazing things to slow those guys down and shut them down also. No, don't get me wrong. The but Ravens even, still had five hundred twenty yeah. yards of offense. They still ran ninety two yeah, plays. That was very much a bend but, but don't break though. They exactly. still they still didn't score a lot. But it, you know, it's one of those things where the defense made plays. Your offense is keeping you in the game because you're not having to play. One of the best ways to play good defense is to not play defense. Yes. So true. that that philosophy is going to be available to them. Yeah. Um, you you got to get a got to get a fast start. You cannot be. They they need to get the ball before half. They don't. They know this is no defer situation. No. They need to win the coin flip and take the football. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You can't go down seven nothing here. Not, not with the way that this team's built. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.